Hi guys, this is actually a long overdue video because I've been getting so many comments from you guys um, over the last couple of months actually asking me what the heck I've been doing different with my hair because it looks so much thicker and fuller. At first I wasn't going to do a video because I'm like I haven't changed anything in my regime but the more I thought about it the more I realized that I actually have done a couple things different that may contribute to my hair appearing more thick. So. I thought I would come on and do the video now because I'm about to wash my hair. So let me pull it out. Okay, so here is my hair. This is what it's been looking like lately. My regime is definitely the same. Nothing really has changed. I still wash my hair every seven to 10 days, depending how busy I am. I still use a plethora of products because I enjoy trying different products. Plus I like to showcase different black owned businesses to you guys. So I get products sent to me. So no real specific product, but two things that I have done. The middle of my hair, I get a lot of breakage in. That's my problem area. Back of my hair, I have no problems retaining length. So what happens is I end up with what I call an Afro mullet. One day, um, I think it was in July, I was tired of looking at it. I put my hair in twists after washing it, went into the bathroom and cut about three inches off the back twists causing the back of my hair to be able to shrink up more, making it look more compacted and thicker. I pretty much butchered my hair. I do plan on getting it corrected or fixed up, evened out by a professional soon, hopefully. I'll definitely uh, keep you guys posted on that. But um, for now, I mean, it did the job. It got rid of the mullet. And a byproduct is that my hair ended up looking more compacted and thicker. Now, speaking of breakage, the second thing that I realized I've been doing unknowingly is you guys know that I recently launched my Tony wig on my website, TonyDilly.com. I wanted to test that wig out, make sure I was 100% happy with it before I offered it to you guys. So I pretty much wore it every day for three months straight. I would put the wig on in the morning, come home, take it off in the evening, and that's it so usually summer is the time that i play the most with my hair and i think that unknowingly i was just letting it rest allowing the section that breaks the most to sort of catch up with the rest of my hair thereby increasing the look of the fullness in the middle which thereby increases the look of fullness overall so yeah guys those are the two things i think contributed to the change in the appearance what you guys are seeing as you know only genetics will determine the amount of follicles or hairs that you have on your head. There's no product or pill, regardless of what they promise, that will change the number of hairs on your head. Um, but there are things that you can do to change the appearance. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm about to wash my hair and try some new products, which I'm super excited about. Can't wait to tell you guys what I think of them. This makeup look, I just love how my makeup looks today. I actually recorded this for you guys and then realized that I forgot to push record. So please don't ask me for a tutorial. <laughs> don't make me do it again. <laughs> Bye guys. What up peeps? Happy Tuesday. Y'all, yeah, I have not I have not been I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> That's not bad. It was good, right? Yeah. Yay! I don't yeah. Okay, Gabe, now you do me.